Wonderful that recognition it just springs to about all the hard work that's been put in by all our coaches, all our volunteers to get five young fellas up to the standard and I think it's a just recognition for all the hard work that's been put in. Yes. These people have to give up their time and I can see, I think when they see the results that they're getting, they think it's worthwhile out. Because without them we just couldn't do it. It's great for us, it's great for the morale of the club and the spirit for the boys and it encourages some of the younger fellas to aspire to get into the, in the 18 group and 19 going further. It's been a lot of hard work. It's starting to be really from a lot of boys with these in minis. We have a very good strong mini section in the, in the club and then uh, for the last six or seven years the youth section has been very, very strong as well. But it needs a lot of volunteers, a lot of help and a lot of coordination. Boys, eight or nine of us came through like so played in the pro rugby and it's good like it's positive for the club and it says a lot about the coach and as you come into youth and all the, the coaching gets more and more structured and just prepares you well like for like, the likes of in pro rugby and stuff so it's good now. Got in a year earlier to the Ulster and the Interpro squad. It's been really good. Uh, I've learnt so much over the past couple of months. There's a massive difference in the class, but it all came from Armagh, from getting coached at such a young age. Right from the minis to the youth to the under-18s, we have to develop our own players, and hopefully someday they will progress to the first 15, which is the future of the club. We acknowledge that the ladies are playing a very important part, not only in our club, but in Ulster rugby in general, and combined with the young men, I think it's nothing but uh, the future's heading, the, the club's heading in the right direction.